Hello Floss Tube and welcome to my channel Home Sweet Home Handmade. This is episode 5 and it's Sunday the 2nd of August 2020 and it's quite a bright day but we've got quite a lot of clouds coming over and I've also got a neighbour next door who's doing a lot of um, sawing with his circular saw so if there's any kind of background noise I apologise for that. So it's been a about a month since I last um, did a floss tube. I've done quite a bit of stitching since then, so I'm happy to show you what I've been up to. I'd just like to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I've had a few in the last month, um, so hello, um, and welcome back to anybody that's previously watched me. So if you're here for the first time, um, welcome and hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll get the notification of when my videos go up. So I've got a few FFOs today, um, a few whips um, and I'll tell you about some stitch alongs um, and a bit of haul at the end. Okay, so I'll start off with um, FFOs and it's all about the hoops this episode and you'll see what I mean in a moment. So the first one is and two of these are gifts, Christmas gifts. So which I think I said in a previous episode I'm going to do a special flosh tube extra on uh, all my gift stitching nearer Christmas. So, so the first one is for a friend and it says, from little things, big things grow. And um, this is quite teeny. <laughs> it's actually um, three inches across. So really sweet, quick little stitch um, in very much her colours. So, and I got a grey hoop to go on this. I'm waiting for some... Um, ribbons to come and then I'll do a little bow at the top and a, uh, um, some ribbon to hold it. I've ordered some grey velvet so I'll be able to show you that next time. And then on the back I put these little um, bits of discs of um, plywood um, and I'll tell you in a moment where you can get those from and it just glues on and just covers the back. So um, that little chart is in this edition of Cross Stitcher, which is July 2020 of Cross Stitcher. You'll find it in there. So I, th I just thought it would be just a quick little stitch with quite sort of vintage colours she lives in an old thatch cottage and I thought that would go really sweet in her cottage. So next time I'll, I'll do let you see it with the ribbons on. So I did order some mustard rick rack as well but I'm not sure if I'm going to put that on. I'll see what it looks like when it comes. So that's the first one. And then the second one, I think I showed this in my last one, um, I was going to stitch this for some friends of ours who are quite into gardening. So it's Heart and Hand Grow Whirly Gig. Um, and I'm quite chuffed with how this turned out. So, the ribbons. <laughs> so I didn't use any of the cord for colours, I just stitched from stash. But I quite like this. Um, Green. I think it's um, classic colourworks bean sprout. I think it is. Um, but yeah, and I just did it on some um, stash um, fourteen count ivory Ada that I had, just a small piece. Um, and then from the same company um, where I got the grey hoop, I got this hoop. Now, I had to get this one because this is a Liberty fabric and the name of it is actually my favourite fabric. It's Betsy. And obviously, having Betsy cat, I had to get the Betsy <laughs> fabric. And so they do it in all different colours. The red is beautiful as well. 
and they do a purple but I thought the green went really well and then I just put a green velvet ribbon and then just some green cording so but I, I really really like that and I hope they like it it was a fairly quick stitch my favorite bit is the little ladybird cute and then again on the back to cover all the stitching and everything um, one of these discs and I just um, when you order from this company this Etsy seller they send you full instructions of how to mount it in the hoop but I just think it's such a sweet little way of um, displaying your cross stitch and it makes such lovely um, gifts as well so that'll be going into my gift floss tube as well and so that's heart in hand grow whirly gig and I think I might hold on to this pattern because um, I think that would make a really good sweet gift for quite a few people so so yeah I'm really chuffed with that one so that will go away ready for my floss tube gift stitching episode. So the final one was um, something that I finished a while ago um, that I just found when I was going through through my stash and through things and it's Country Cottage Needleworks Frosty Forest and I decided surprise surprise I'd keep this for me so yeah it's sweet and I ordered the um it's like a white ivory hoop and I don't think you could probably see I'm not sure probably a bit it's got a bit of sparkle to the Ada and the key button <laughs> so I really like this and then the ribbon I put on was um uh, just happy Christmas and I just asked my husband, I said, should I put a bow on this one? And he said, no, 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 keep it as it is. So, and then again on the back, they're made with love. But yeah, so that's ready to put out for Christmas. So what I'd like to do is, I'd actually like to pass the stash on this as I finished it. And I probably won't stitch it again. So if you would like this, to stitch this, I mean we're past Christmas in July now, but I think I stitch Christmas all year round. So so in the comment section, if you just mention um, winter, tell me what your favourite winter chart is. Um, and also you must be over 18, don't say giveaway, like this video and be a subscriber. So this is a subscriber giveaway. Okay, so that's Frosty Forest by Country Cottage Needleworks and you could be stitching this. I think you can also still get the little snowman button. I'll show you on this one. Keeps swiveling round. <laughs> but yeah, really sweet. I love that. Simple, a simple design. Really nice. So those are my three FFOs and the company that does the hoops is, it's Happy Hoopla Hoops on Etsy and she's a brilliant seller, um, lots of Liberty designs. Um, I will put a link to her Etsy shop in the description box below because I've learned how to do that now. <laughs> but. Um, Yes, that's her. She's great. Um, lots of lovely designs and some oval ones as well because I know they're sometimes difficult to find. And all the backs and she sells the um, textile glue as well and you can get it as a kit. But yeah, okay. So that's my three FFOs. And talking about giveaways, I just want to thank... Um, 
Lisa from Crossed Floss. Um, I entered the giveaway to win the Just Cross Stitch um, Halloween edition 2020 magazine, which I think is on the way to me across the sea from the US. So thank you, Lisa. I was absolutely chuffed a bit when um, you said my name. Um, it was a Monday morning I was watching your video and um, it just brightened up my day. So that's great. So um, when that comes um, in my next episode, I will show you what I plan to stitch from that magazine. So thank you, Lisa. And I'll link her in the box below. So the next section is my stitch alongs. Um, one is going well. Um, one is going okay and one is going very poorly so I think I've learned out learned that I'm not the greatest on stitch longs but um but I do like doing them so so the first one is one that you've seen um many times I keep it in this little folder it says um I've totally got this which is a bit ironic when I've just said that it's not going so great <laughs> um I'll just take it out of the plastic sleeve. So you've seen this before. It's Be Calm by Not Forgotten Farm. And I'm doing this with my sister Emily on a Sunday morning. Um, for our Sunday morning stitch alongs. But I didn't do it this morning because she's off on her holidays. So I hope she has a lovely time. Very jealous because she's going up to North Yorkshire, my favourite part of the world. So I hope she has a great time. So she's actually finished this. Um, and it looks beautiful because she's done a blue pot and bright pink petals. So I'll show you where I'm up to. I'm pushing for a finish on this. And I was going to do a bit this morning. But Emily told me I wasn't allowed to stitch on a Sunday when she's not around. It's going to get some sneaky stitches in. But... Uh, I held back and was very good. Sorry, I haven't ironed this, so it's a little bit decreased. But there we go. So I finished that pot off, which was a bit the pot from hell, we called it. <laughs> Although it's, um, you know, once you get into it, you get into a rhythm. And I did mine in um, DMC 115, so there's a bit of variegation. And I'm stitching this on um, Spygart Nougat 14 count. And the petals are Weeks Dyeworks Marigold. And the stem is Cappuccino, I think. And that's a DMC. So I'm, I'm nearly there. I've just got the um, three B, the four Bs to do. Which shouldn't take me too long. So I've just got the Bs to do. So, but I really, I really like the red pot. I think it really brightens it up. So, we totally <laughs> um, underestimated. We were like, oh, we'll get this done in three weeks. Um, I think it's been about two and a half months. But we do, um, we do a lot of chatting, and we only stitch on this on a Sunday morning between us. Um, just for a couple of hours but we do a lot of chatting so and all that is all filled in as well so for coverage so yeah so I, I've just got the bees to do so whilst I'm finishing that Emily is doing the coffee first by Brenda Jubay I'll come on to that in a moment and then after that I think we've decided to do well, we're going to do another stitch along. Um, and I think we've decided, and this is a free chart, a part of the Be Well and Stitch movement. We've decided to do the Tiny Modernist Home Stitch Home. Now, I can't really decide what colours to do this in. I'm wondering whether to do a red house and then I'm thinking I might go really um, pastely or peaches. I don't know. 
So I can't think about that, but I've got some time because I'm doing the bees. Or also, and I think I'll talk about this in my next flush tube, which will probably be, I'll try and sneak one in at the end of the month, um, end of August. Um, I, I've got a birthday coming up at the end, at the beginning of September, and we are planning to start a hawk run hollow. Emily is doing the year of hawk run hollow, and I've got the village, so I've kitted up the first um, square. Well, I'm just doing DMCs, I'm not doing the silks. Um, and I was toying with which fabric. Um, I kept going from vintage country mocker, ivory ada, white ada, going backwards and forwards. And because quite a lot of the squares are full coverage, in the end, I decided to go with an ivory ada to keep the costs down. So, but I'm going to talk about that a bit more in my next floss tube. I'm quite excited. And we're going to start that on my birthday. So, so we've just... I've decided I'm going to have a birthday start each year. So for the Tiny Modernist Home Stitch Home, I'll put a link to that in the description box below. So the next um, stitch along um, that I'm doing is with obviously with Emily, my sister, who is stitching from Gnome Cottage on Instagram. And also with Amy, uh, Amy Loves Toes. Amy has done hers um, already, and she's done hers into an amazing um, pouch that she's got hanging in her kitchen that she's got um, some really lifelike but fake um, greenery coming out of it, and it just looks amazing. So so this is what we're doing. We're doing um, Coffee First by Brenda Gervais. Um, I love this. But I've only put very, very few stitches in this since I last showed it. Hardly any embarrassed as <laughs> it's the stitch along. Um, so my aim is to get this out in the next month and get a good chunk of it done. But it's really sweet. I'm using all the cord for apart from um, this here. I think, let me just get my threads out that I'm keeping in my cute little pouch. Don't look at it, it's quite messy. Emily would be horrified. <laughs> so, just, yeah, so it's um, Gentle Art Dungarees. I think that's one of my favourite blues, actually. So that's in this bit. And this is a DMC. Um, this is straw hat, just a little bit, but classic colour works. And the pinafore is in classic colour works bamboo. And I'm stitching this on vintage country mocker, 14 count. And I love the mottling. It's great. So I had a bit of a disaster ordering the backing fabric to this. Um, I ordered it from Spoonflower, and, and when it came, um, it said coffee first on it, but it was enormous letters. So now I've changed tack, um, and I've got some beige polka dot, so to go on the back. So I'm hoping to um, get quite a bit of this done in the next month tackle that cup i know amy said she was doing bits of it and then a line of the cup in her floss tube that's what i'm hoping to do but it's really sweet i'm debating whether to get it have it framed in a sort of shabby chic blue frame or white or make it up i'm not sure because it obviously i've got the little spoon but i could have a box frame i don't know decisions decisions so that's the second sell I'm doing with Amy from Amy Loves Toads and my sister. And I'm keeping all of this, I think I showed this last time, in my patchwork paw print and vinyl. I've 
got a stitch back I love that such good quality and she lives near me in Norwich so I will try and link her shop as well great so I'll put all this back so I don't end up um, in a complete mess my husband has gone out shopping <laughs> sent him with a little list of food shopping so I'm trying to get this floss tube done before he comes back but I've told him if the kitchen door here is shut don't come in so I've got Betsy cat in her bed in there um, had lots of treats so she's asleep and then we had a really annoying buzzy fly so I've trapped it in in the lounge as well so the third um stitch along that I'm doing is um, hands-on designs stitch over two so I've had this in my stash for quite a while I think I mentioned on a previous floss tube I was going to do this as part of my stitching smalls I've started and um, my lovely friend Donna Ray flannel jammies farm she had this in her stash as well and she said Shall we stitch it together? So um, I said, yes, okay, that's great. So we um, decided on a date and we started this on Friday, just gone the 31st of July. So I am um, using some cord for, um, but it's still quite difficult to um, find gentle arts threads here in the UK. So, let's find where I am. So, I've stitched the top bit, stitch over two, all the day through. So, this is supposed to be in Gentle Art Walnut, but I couldn't get a hold of that. So, I'm stitching that in Wheat Dye Works Mocha. And then the little um, cross there. Smyrna Cross is um, Wheat Style Works Aztec Red. And then the, so you stitch this here in a different fabric to this. So on the bottom, I'm just using um, some Ivory Ada from Stash. Um, and then I've got lots of, um, so I've got Weeks Dye Works, uh, what's that called? King Mackerel. That might be for the grey rickrack along. Uh, and then Weeks Dye Works Linen, that's a cord for. And then another grey that I thought might go is Weeks Dye Works Galvanised. That's a little bit dark. And then this is the cord for green, which is. Uh, classic colour works mistletoe which I like that so yeah and then also in the design you get the little bit of wool felt that goes there so I'm going to put that on and put some pearl head pins as well so I love that strawberry um, primitive hair I've got some um, polymer strawberry pins and I'm tempted to buy them to put in at the top. So, so yeah, that's my progress so far on Stitch Over 2. My stitch along with Donna Ray Flannel Jammies Farm. I'm sure you all know her, but I'll put a link in the description box. And then the backing fabric. I can't remember where I got this from. It's been in my stash for a while. I thought I might use that one. It's like a sort of cream ivory. There's all different um, things on it. It's a bit like the um, other vintage one I showed. Quite drawn to vintage fabrics. So yeah, so that's my third stitch along with Donna Ray. So I'm hoping to get back to that today. I like to do the strawberry. So put all this back so I don't end up with an almighty mess. 
I'm keeping that in my little embroidery pouch that my friend did for me. Well, she was testing out her new embroidery machine and um, she just did this on a bit of fabric and was going to throw it away and I was like, no, 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 I'll have that. So, yeah. So, that's my three cells. So, next we go on to whip. trying to put some in um, is my sampler from my friend who turned 80 in May I've shown this quite a bit so it's Silver Creek Samplers Dundee Dreams so I'm going to keep picking this up putting it down put putting some more stitches in um, it's coming along slowly but surely but I've done a bit more of the wording and I've filled in those two O's as well. So I'm st stitching this on a 14 count fabric flare nostalgia. So, yeah, she knows she's having a special gift coming. So, um, and with all this COVID and everything, I haven't been able to see her. So, but we've been in regular contact. But yeah, so I want to get at least when I show it next time at least I've got all the lettering done so because um, it's not a very big piece but I seem to be stalling on it quite a bit I'm sure she'll love it as well in here as well is that I've showed that before is the anchor kit island and that's her Christmas gift so I need to I need to get on <laughs> And where are we next? So, in my um, patchwork paw print Anne of Green Gables, I've got Brenda Gervais I collect for my um, collection of sewing smalls. Love this one. So I'm collecting up all the pearlized buttons. So I haven't put too much on this. This is another one I need to get back to. So just a few stitches. And this is on picture this plus um, fawn, I think. I'm not sure. So that one's stalled a bit, but I will get I will get back to it. So. And looking down at my trusty notes again. <laughs> um, I this is a, a new start, and it's a tiny modernist one again. Um, I'm going to show it because it's a free pattern on her blog, and I just had a real urge to do autumn stitching, so I'll link this below as well. And just using stash threads. Quite enjoying this one. This is on Vinci Vintage Country Mocker as well. Mm -hmm. Cute little squirrel. And I've decided I'm going to do this as like a um, hanger on my window. So I've got um, these materials to do it as a bit of a flat fold. Um, this is the polka dot one that I was that I'm going to map um, put on the back of coffee first that I was mentioning. So yeah, going to use those two fabrics. So yeah, so it's tiny modernist and it's autumn. It's on her blog, but I'll um, if I can find it again. I'll link it below. That's a free pattern. Another free pattern is, and I've got this in my Made by Rachel amazing bag, 
is all my Halloweeny stuff. And I found this on the world of cross stitching. Sorry about the glare. This free pattern. And I thought, oh, that's like I've just got just the right fabric to do that on. This is my progress, and um, I'm just using DMC 310. This fabric, it's amazing isn't it, is um, from an Etsy seller, she hasn't got a shop, I think she just um, hand dyes fabric, so I thought that went really well. So I need to put a few more stitches in that, I'm, I'm going to tackle that border as well. So, and I've also decided to, that I didn't really want his tummy around like that, I'm just going to fill it in, so that's what I've done. So also in here I've got um, some pumpkin fabric that I think I might back it with. And some pumpkin tape as well. And what else have I got in here? Oh yeah, I've got these little prairie schoolers, little mini charts. I think I might do some of them as well. So that, that's a free chart on the world of cross stitching, so I'll link it below if I can find it again. It's good when you can get free charts. Talking about autumn, I thought I'd um, show you this. My Liberty Pumpkin. So I thought I might do a bit of a display um, in my windowsill in the lounge. That's lovely. This is done by Ali of Homebird Makes. I'll link her below. And she's got a grey one as well. I think I will order. It's just sweet. I'll make a little display on the windowsill. And then, um, talking of autumn and Halloween, I, I um, pulled this out from my whip pile. Just take it out of the plastic. Stop the glare. So it's um, Prairie Schooler Boo Moo. And they only take two colours. I think it's uh, 921 the orange and the black is the usual Prairie Schooler 3371. I've done um, two of those already. Now I don't know what the fabric is, it's obviously a swipe art because of the orange. But and I think it's um, I think it's 16 count this one. Yeah, so I make those into little ornaments. So I think I've started there, and I think I'm doing. The one I'm doing next is the witch. I like the owl as well. I like all of them really. So yeah, this is my yearn to do um, Christmas, uh, not Christmas, Halloween stitching. Remember, I've got this, and then the one on the back, I'll cover the chart up. I like that as well. I like, I like his face. So yeah, so I'm going to get back to that and then I'll show you that in my next costume. Right, I'll get my notes. Right, next is haul. And I've got a bit of everything to show you. So the first thing is... I picked up this book from Amazon called Classical Christmas. It's by Rico Designs. And it's just got some quite amazing charts in there. I like that. So let's flick through. 
through. That's quite a sweet as well. It's quite reasonable, this was. Um, where is the... Oh yeah, that's the other little reindeer one. And I like that cushion as well. Things like runners as well and tablecloth. So I know that is available on Amazon. Classical Christmas. And then the other thing that I got um, from Etsy seller paint box threads. I'm just going to show you the label. Me and Emily were oohing and ahhing over these, and she doesn't know that I've ordered these, so this will be. Um, news to her, which will be, probably be really mad at me for ordering them. I thought I'd... Aren't they beautiful? So you get 10 50 metre skeins, and this one is in an English country garden. And then she's got silks as well. Oh, they're beautiful colours. I'll link her below. Couldn't decide really which ones, but I, I did like this one. So, yes, that's paint box threads. And then um, I wanted to so show you some fabrics that I got um, from You, Me and Mabel. And she, I've ordered from her before. She's a great seller. Look at this. Great alphabet fabric. Who's that by? There you go. So I'm thinking maybe with um, some Blackbird Designs Plum Street Sampler might make a cushion and back it with that because she gave me some extra of this so I've got loads it's very cute and then in the same order I ordered this one because I thought that might um, be good for my sewing smalls and then scissors And then this one I specifically ordered, these scissors, to go with this pattern that I showed you last time from Shakespeare's Peddler. And I thought that would go great on the back. And then this beautiful floral. And then can't resist biggies, I can't, I know I can't. And then finally this really cute floral as well. So all of those came um, from you, um, this is an Amy Simabaldi fabric. So all these came from you, me and Mabel. And I'll link her shop below. And then the final thing, Paul, and I've been looking at this and I thought um, I'm just going to get it because I love her charts. And so that's by Alicia Paulson, Things of Summer. So I think um, it calls for quite a lot, it's all DMCs, calls for quite a lot. Or DMC or um, I don't know how many but um, there we go there's the long list so I think I might just stitch from stash to use my threads up and also I might um, where are they might use some of these in that as well that's such a cute 
cute design and she's got the spring one out but I just haven't started her. I don't know when I'm going to start that. Maybe sooner rather than later. And Emily, if you want, um, we could do stitch along for this as well. Oh, I love the stitch alongs. I'm never get them done. But I will I'll get a bee calm done. So, so I think that's all I've got for you today. Um, thank you for stopping by. And, um, and don't forget the... Um, giveaway for frosty forest um tell me what your favorite winter chart is um and you must be a subscriber this is a subscriber giveaway and don't say giveaway you must be over 18 and i'll post anywhere us anywhere in the world so so thank you thank you for stopping by um and leave me a comment ask me a question um like the video and subscribe and i hope to be back with you in within a month but we'll just see so um and hopefully i've got the ribbons for um for this again and i can show you what it looks like so okay take care bye